today on Bill. If she ain't his daughter, oh. her and her damn mama could kick hot rocks with those slots of damn <laughs> Don't daughters demand daddy's DNA? I had a one night stand with her, but I'm not the only one that hit it. It's all good in the hood. Goodbye, Katrina. You are all these things in front of all these people. Today is the day for the DNA. Right now. Thanks for coming in and thanks for watching. Today we have two explosive DNA disputes that involve grown up women that are trying to find their real daddies. And we have the long awaited DNA test results that are bound to shock and awe. My first guest says someone's trying to pin paternity on her hubby after 24 years. Take a look. Hey, Bill, I'm here to get answers. I think a 24 year old woman is trying to scam my husband into thinking that he's her father. She's been stalking me and blowing my phone up on the regular, and I definitely wanted to stop. He's never told me about any child. And if she is his, why wait 24 long years to get answers? Today is the day for the DNA. Please welcome Phyllis to the show. Phyllis, how you doing, honey? All right. I'm doing fine, Bill. Phyllis, why are you here today? Well, today I'm here to spread the cheese all across the cracker today. I need answers. We That's gotta put I'm the cheese for. on the right cracker. Yes. No Two question. Or three, four crackers. Tell me about your man and tell me what's going on. Well, my husband Lamont, me and my husband been together for 14 years and married for six. About two years ago, all of a sudden, we get a phone call all out the blue from a young lady claiming that my husband is her father. How'd that make you feel? How did it make me feel? Yeah. It made me feel very, very upset. Upset at her. Very upset. How about and, upset at your man? Well, I wasn't upset at him because this was supposed to happen when he was 16 years old. Oh, okay. Me and him didn't even know each other then. Didn't know it. But the whole point is, you don't call nobody's house if you think somebody is your damn father and start disrespecting him right off the top, disrespecting me, talking to me any kind of way, talking to him any kind of way, calling him a deadbeat dad, talking about he wasn't never there for her, he ain't never did nothing for you. How he gonna do something for you when he don't even know you exist? So you answer that question. When you make any damn sense? When you hooked up with your man, you said you asked him, do, "Are you involved with any other women? Have you ever had other kids?" And your man said, "I don't have any, any kids, kids anywhere no, in the world." I don't have any kids. So you've been. So, where almost. the hell these scammers come from? Because that's what the hell so I she's think a is scammer. going on. That's what I think is going on. She, people scam people all the day on time. Is she almost a stalker? Is she stalking you almost? Well, look, I put it to you like this, Bill. Things got so serious, it could have caused me and my husband to go separate ways to the point where I had to involve family members in it to back this young lady off of me for somebody to get seriously hurt. I don't have time for that. Don't have time. And I tell you what, world. I tell you what, if she ain't his daughter, oh. her and her damn mama could kick hot rocks with no socks or damn flip flops. That's what they can do. Right. That's what they can do. Because first of all, from what I was told, me and my husband had a long damn talk about this. I bet you had a big my talk. My husband told me that he met her at the age of 16. Now check this out. She came over there to the house with his girlfriend, her and two other young ladies. She sneaks back over there later on and have sex with him with no rubber. What kind of wretched ass woman do that? Well, so you're saying he did not use protection. He said he don't remember because at the age of 18, he had a head injury. So some of his memory loss is knocked out. He was in a serious accident. Serious. So first of all, if you come and sleep with him, and you sneaking behind your best friend. In the basement. Now, you come with your friend. What the heck you doing sneaking back over there late on to sleep with this man? All right. So that speaks a lot. That speaks a lot for her character right there. That lets me know what type of person that you are. Do you claim that her, her mom had another man tested too? Yeah, from what she say, another guy was supposed to be tested. So I assume so he suspects. wasn't the daddy. So next, my husband ain't come He up. was next in line. Yes. She also stated that she's the oldest. Is six siblings beside her. Her mother didn't raise now one of them. Her grandmother raised her and she was adopted. So what the hell that tell you? Not good. But today's a big day for you, correct? Today's a big yeah, day. Yeah, it's a day is a big day for me because while they back there hollering, I'm the one made this happen. I made the phone call. All right. Well, let's do this. So if I didn't want to find out the truth, I wouldn't have took the initiative on myself to do what the hell I had to do. And you want to know That's why? That's what you call a real woman. 
My you, husband don't have any kids. We don't have any kids together. Have you ever met her before? Ever no, met I ain't never met her. I ain't seen her. Don't her. know what she looked like. 24 years. Well, she I don't went. know. I don't know how old she is. We're going to find out. Please welcome Phyllis's husband's self-proclaimed daughter, Stacy, to the show. Stacy, come on in. <laughs> Nothing to do with each other. No, so all of a sudden now, she Marie telling Rose, you this Marie and she Rose telling you that. Back in her life. When you, you called, when you called my Marie host, Rose. you said you wouldn't have nothing to do with your okay. mom. You was the old, you was the oldest child, the oldest and that you had you six. Had nothing to do you with say it. you got six you other sure siblings had, that you your sure mom ain't took care of. That's your. I mean, should be what? I mean, that's your husband and whatnot. You should want to find out. Then you hear what I just said. And whatnot. Then you hear what I just said. You standing on this damn stage because of me. I made this call. No, I made this call. No, you didn't. Let's sit. Hold on, honey. Now. You sit over here, honey. Sit on my seat. Sit on my seat, honey. Now, I don't want to sit in your seat. Right. I don't oh, hold on, honey. I don't want to sit in your seat. Okay. I'm not going to touch her. Do you think, do you I'm think not touch her. that this woman's keeping you from your daddy? Yes. Tell me I, why. Why? I believe your, your that. Mama. I'm trying to call her. I'm trying to call her and whatnot. He was happy. He was happy to hear from me and whatnot. And I, you were happy, I guess. Even y'all say, even y'all say, I am not like Let's go this. Did your mama uh, test another man at some point? No, she has not. Your mama not. never well, tested well, a man. Well, your mama never tested a man. I never said. Why would you get you did? No, I have not. What reason I got to lie on your when I you a stranger? I don't even know you. I don't know why you lie on me. Why you lie on me? 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 And then when I start going around my mom and whatnot, my mama said that little mom is my father, and she have no doubt that he is not my father. So there's a big question about who is your daddy, because your other, other hell, men have been tested. How in the hell am I going to be your daddy when she snuck back over there that night with his real girlfriend and slept with him? What kind of crap is that? It don't matter. It do matter. Because that means she is wrecked his head. And if you need if to she slept the same with that man, she slept with two or three other men the same and, damn night. Let's put no, more cheese on the cracker right now. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do this. Please welcome the man who Stacy claims is her father, Lamont. <laughs> Never met her. Never met her. Yes, yes, yes. And she don't look like your mama. Like somebody I told her. I look like her. my mom. Yes, I do. I Lamont, don't look like you. you but ne I mean, you've you never met her. How you do? You never met her before. No, I've never met her before. Do you believe this is your child? I don't know. I just want proof because I've heard so many different variations of different stories or whatever. Move your tail. All the way over. Do you remember, you know, Lamont, do you remember her mom? Do you remember the event Well, I'll tell you what, if he uh, is your daddy, you if you don't change your seat. attitude, you won't be a part no. of this union. No. I tell you that. He, if he's my daddy, I tell you if, that. If he's my daddy, I don't I give a damn who he is. Let me ask Lamont. Let me, hold on. Let the man talk. Phyllis, hold on. Let the man. Hold on. She's going to be part of it, whatever it is. Lamont, talk to me about the event. Do you recall having relations with her mother? I had a one-night stand with her, you So, know? Lisa, one-night stand. But, but see, the thing about it, I'm not the only one that hit it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, At the same I, time, more or less? Well, probably the same day. Hold on, Lamont. We got Lisa coming up. You could okay, be the daddy. Lisa. I could be. I'm yeah. not you definitely. Wanna, do you want to know? Do you want to find out? Yeah, I want to know. Today's the day. You sure be? A, yeah, DNA's coming, baby. Because I don't know, because I've been lied to before. What does it mean? What does it mean if, in fact, you are the baby daddy, you lost 24 years of your child's life? What does it mean to you, Lamont? Then I'm no longer the baby daddy. I'll just be the father. You want to be my father? You'll be my daddy. Well, I'll be your daddy if, it, if it's like this. I would to know you. I would love to get to know you. But we can't do this this way. We got to be peaceful and understanding. Yes. We're going to take a lot.
deeper in the DNA drama. Stay right there. More's coming up. Stay right there. No, I didn't have that. This DNA drama is heating Don't up. Don't get mad at me because I told the truth on your mama. Respecting my mama and whatnot. Like. Your mama disrespected her damn self when she snuck oh, back mean, over there and slept with that man yes, while his did. girlfriend yes, was in the picture. And Stacy's mom stirs the pot. He is the damn daddy, and that's the damn truth. And that's all the real truth. I don't care who I don't care how you care. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. believe what happens next. If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live. For your free tickets to a taping in New York City, go to our website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free, 888-71. Lamont, you are the father. Today's the day you can't run and you can't hide, because Bill's going to get us out of the truth. Right, today's all about DNA drama. And Lamont, when's the last time you saw Stacy's mom, Lisa? When's it, how long at Lisa? How long's it been? It's been over 20 years, Bill. Uh -oh. Did you really ever date her? No, it wasn't nothing like that. It was just a booty call, man. <laughs> how does that how does that make you feel? It makes me feel angry to him for him to say that. He's well, it's the truth. It's mama. the truth, though. Yes. It's the truth. I, and don't get mad at me because I told the truth on your mama. Disrespecting my mama and whatnot. Like... Your mama disrespected her damn self when she snuck oh, back over there and slept with that man yes, while his did. girlfriend was in the picture. No, you can stay That's who the heck is scam. That's who scam. No, your mama did it. Your mama did it. Your mama did it. Who you talking to like that? Let's show respect. If you give respect, you're going to get respect. Please welcome Stacy's mother, Lisa. Lisa, come on out. Basic question, Lisa. Nah, that's what your man. Nah, why do you? Why do you? Why do you say? Why do you say Lamont is her baby daddy? Now let me, let me hear her story, honey. Lisa, why do you say that? Because when we had sex, I didn't have sex with nobody else. And that's what you took. After that. <laughs> that, 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 that particular day. Do you uh, recall the? Do you my recall? Mama said, "When well, you don't come on, you're pregnant," and I was pregnant at fit. Team. You were pregnant almost that night you got pregnant by him. No other yes. man. You're well, saying, you're no saying 100%. 100%. No other man up in me. He's 100%. Uh, he's 100%. He's 100%. I'm a thousand percent sure that he's is my baby 100%. Well, why? Why have you allowed 24 years to go by before... Why the hell you didn't make the phone call instead of me? She no, made I didn't have a lie 25 years past, but I tried to get contact with this man. I had got contact with his best friend, Prince. I had seen him. It's, I can't say his name. Don't say his name. But, He's not uh, here. Yeah, but Did you I have some had, other guy tested? But I had talked to you plenty of times. You, you ain't never told, you you ain't talked to me and told her. me nothing. You can't I ain't never came to see her. her. It's been 20 some years. Why now that y'all just not waiting to do this? She said that you. I, 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 I,
Right, because me, because of me. Why you Because of me, not you. One at a time, one at a time. Let me do that One at a time, let's go one at a time. I didn't give an F up about the question about why I was waiting so long. Why is it one at a time? When I asked the question about why I was waiting so long, she said that you told her that you did come to a relative's house to tell him about it at the age of 16, but you was told not to come back there no more. No, I don't know that if that's true happened. or not, Let them talk. but I talked to that relative, and she said, yes, that is true. Who is supposed to he be He never knew nothing about you. My relative? Now, you can continue to believe that. No, he this no, man, he, he, he is three times a man. He didn't tell you anything. Why would he tell you anything? We didn't know each other. Lisa, I'm asking a question. He said she Did said you have another man tested for paternity? No. Never did. Never, never did. Never 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 Put that on How certain love. are you that he's the baby daddy? I'm so sure. I'm 100%. Sure. And the truth is, you are the baby father. That is the truth. What if he's not? I don't care about a man. What is there a possibility? Lisa, no matter how small. No, well, there ain't going to be no possibility. I'll tell you that much now. Stacy, I'm going to hear from Stacy. But hold on. Everyone kind of sit back. Stacy, you're now 24 years old. I almost feel like you're a victim of this, in a sense. Tell me about your feelings, Stacy. I feel hurt, and I feel, I feel like, you no, know, like I don't, like I haven't got really no love for my father or no, and I'm not trying to, or you, mom. Like, you know, you know, I feel like I'm by myself. I feel like I'm by myself all the time. You finally want answers when you see your mom, your potential stepmom, your dad go at it like this as a child. How does this make you feel? I feel like he letting her run. Running. No, no, I'm not gonna be no victim of no bull. I this feel is like straight as how that. the hell is I all? Feel he like let me he run it when I made the phone call. Everything. It's because of me that you and your mama sitting on this damn like thing. So you better get it correct. Everything. You better get it right. No, it's because of me you sitting right, right now. Boom. I can get out. Get out. Get out. It's all good in the hood. Right. Goodbye. Trick. Bye. Go about where you came from. Go about where you came from. We're going to settle this DNA drama once and for all later in the show. Don't go anywhere. A lot more coming up. Two sisters divided by DNA drama. We have no matter my last name. So I don't believe no. that he's my father, but I have nothing you know to do. Not your I have nothing to do with the money and okay, stuff that whatever. he gets. He gives you do me. You One possible father. You need to take it out with your mother. No, take your it out with you because that's you, you need to take it out. You tell your kids is not even going lying. You but you got you got eleven kids though. Eleven kids. Eleven. Lots of drama. You are a liar. Whatever. No. You you are You are a liar. You are a liar. You know, it's bad enough when you're a grown-up and don't know who your dad is. But what if your maybe daddy was denying you and giving all of his love to your sister? That's the pain my next guest is dealing with. Take a look at this. I'm Ebony. And I'm Camille. My sister thinks she's all that. Our dad treats her like she's his only daughter and completely ignores me. Ebony is just jealous of the money, time, and love I get from our father. My dad says he's not the one. And my sister treats me like scum. I'm his daughter, and I demand a DNA test. The truth is, we don't even know he's our father. Please welcome Ebony to the show. Ebony, how you doing, honey? I'm fine. Ebony, how bad has it gotten between you and your sister, Camille? Bill, it's gotten bad that one day, me, Camille, my mom, was at the store one day. She came out of her mouth, and she was like, you don't know who your dad is, so. Say that to who? To me. To you? Yes. Your mom said to you at the No, my sister Your did. sister. Yes. Camille said to you, Ebony, you don't know who your daddy is. Yes. And what'd you say? I got mad and I punched her. I didn't say anything. You gave so, her a right cross. Yes. Right there. Next the thing floor. you know. In the Dollar General store, she went yes. down like a 10 bag. <laughs> yes. Right there. So, I, was start, I started choking her out. Then, you choked her out? Yes. The people from the store called the police and we got charged. Your dad favors who? He favors Camille more. He he um treated her better than me. He Money, take her, yeah, day. yeah. He one day he um gave her fifty dollars and only gave me twenty dollars. So like your daddy ignores you. Yes. He, act as if you're not his. Yes. And, and that's a rub between you and your sister. Yes, Camille. and it's, it's coming between us because that's my only sister. Now honestly, I do love her, and then it's like I feel like Craig is a big part of this because. But you but you want to 
feel as if you got a blood sister. This is someone you're close to and you're friendly with. You want to feel as if you two have a bond, and that bond is you came from the same baby daddy. Yes. That, and, and today might be the day you lose it all. Yes. How would that make you feel, honey? It'll, it's, it's a, it'll hurt me. Why? Why? Because, honestly, because my father figure I had, he, he passed, and I, I didn't have nobody there that can teach me anything that one day, um, I called Craig and I told him, um... You I call him Craig and not Daddy? Well, hey, that's you're, what he You're deserved. not sure? Yeah, I honestly... So, Ebony, the bottom line is your sister, Camille, rubs it in your face constantly, constantly that this man, Craig, is not your baby daddy. Do you want him to be? We're going to find out later. In the show. Do you want him to be? Honestly, um, I do because I really want to know who my father is, but... If he chooses to, to not have anything to do with me, it will be fine because he been this far. He, he went this far without talking to me and everything. Okay. Please welcome Ebony's maybe half-sister or maybe full sister, Camille, to the show. Camille, come on out. So he did what? You did what to me? You punched me in my face yes, when? I did. You no, you did know, not punch you know, me in my face. You, know, you, you know. better get up on try my face it, right it. now. Try it. Okay, try now. It. So you, you mad be because he gave me money? I don't have nothing to do with that. I don't have nothing to do with it. You should go. You just on me. Okay. I have a baby. What do I want? You don't have nothing to do with it. Get away. Let's sit down. Hold on. Sit down. Hold on. Ladies, this is not the Dollar General store. Have a seat. Have a seat. Now tell me. What is the rub going on? I mean, you're hurt by this, and you got an angry half sister who may not be your sister, correct? Yes. Tell me, Cam tell me, Camille, what's going on? What's happening? Okay, Ebony is jealous because Craig gives me money. He comes by. He doesn't say anything to her. He waits for her to speak to him, but she's stubborn. Is he Craig she or Daddy? Who? Okay, me and him have a father-daughter relationship, but I don't call him dad because he hasn't been there my whole life. But he's still, he, I love him like he's my dad because he treats do me you, well. Do you believe he's your biological dad? I, I don't, no, I don't believe, no, I don't believe, no, I don't believe he's, he's my not. father. My sister's mad at me, and I think she should be mad at my mom because, for one, no, we both I'm have different last because, names. No, so we have don't different last name. names, so I don't believe no, that he's my father, but whatever. I have nothing you know to do. Not I have nothing to do with the money and okay, stuff that whatever. he gets. He you do me. because you pick at me. Okay, how do I she pick, pick at, at me you? for example, Bill? She's gonna phone her best friend. She's gonna phone her best friend. She's like, okay, when well, he she, took me out to go to Corral that day, I brought you a takeout plate, so man. I thought about you. Whatever, but no, you did not. No, you didn't. You talked about my head. Whatever. Okay, why are you mad at me when Mama takes your side over mine? Okay, that's all the time. Even when we were younger, she always took your side when we got in a fight. Okay, that's all the time. Why are you mad at me when Mama takes your side over mine? Okay, that's all the time. Even when we were younger, she always took your side when we got in a fight. She always made me sleep on the couch and let you have the room. So let's do this. You act like you the only one hurting this situation. Let's get it done. It's time to meet the man in the middle of this DNA Whatever. daughter sandwich and drama. Please welcome Craig. Craig to the show. Craig, come on out. We're going to find out. Hey. Hey. Have a seat, Craig. Let's talk about this. So what, don't hug me neither? Yeah, like come I said. Come, come on, come on. No, I don't Craig. care. No, See, that's what I'm talking about so right there. What? That's what I'm talking about right there. So Craig, do you treat them differently? Do, do you yes, consider these women to be your daughters, both of them? I consider I consider Camille being my daughter. Why? What about Ebony? Her mother never told me anything about her. Saying I went to prison, came out. She never told me anything about her. Saying but but was told me about Camille. Found out about so you believe what, what the mom what mom said that she is your daughter and she is not your daughter? Yes, her mother told me about her. No, she, she told your mother, you. Your mother, she your mother, told, is, your mother is the he reason. He went off and he went your mother is around. The reason why. He went on around cheating um, on my mama and she told him. Your mama cheated on me. She told me no. You was cheating on me. Whatever. Your mama cheated on me. My mama didn't tell him that she had a daughter and you wasn't there for me. You knew. Well, I would say this. You two look a little bit alike if I may say that. Okay, so but he said 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 he so, right. So I, I am his, and I know that. How, how, you, know? how you know that? Cause how I, you know that? How your family how you accept me, but you can't. My family accepted you? Yes. Really? You don't yes, want to be accepted. Do. You stubborn. Really? You shut the hell up because you don't have nothing See, this, to do with it. Okay, on. you whatever. Wait, wait. This is between us. You need now. to take it out with your mother. No, take it out with you because that's you, you, you need to take it out with your mother. You have 11 kids, it's not even yours. You're lying. You but you got, you got 11 kids, though? 11 kids. 11? Yes. You got them tested? Yes. You got them tested? How many baby mommies? How many crazy? Seven baby mommies. Seven, seven, eleven. That's seven, eleven. That does not mean nothing. You do not. Okay. Seven, eleven. Whatever. All right, Craig, let me ask you. Hold on, honey. What do you want to happen? The DNA drama is today. Do you want to be the baby daddy of Camille? Yes, I do. Do you want to be the baby daddy of Ebony? Yes, I do, sir. You do want it? 
Yes, I do. You do? I do want it. Why why treat me like that? Like why do you treat her worse than Camille? You you always Because because Camille is all I knew. Because her Denise told you. Denise told me. No, he's yes, lying. Yes, he's lying. Yes. lying. If you he's think the straightway DNA drama was. You, you got whatever. a mom reader? You a logger? Your mom is mom? the reason behind all this right here. Your mom. Well, let's meet her. Denise is coming up. Let's meet Denise, the baby mama. Stay right there. Mama brings the drama. You are always saying you're the only people telling me lies. I told you, my And these women have waited their whole life for this moment. When it comes to the fraternity, believe the results. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cosby. Today's all about three-way DNA drama. What do we do, Craig? I asked you off the air, what happens if you're not the baby daddy of either, which is a possibility, does that change your relationship? You said, Camille, no change with her, don't care. Really Do you don't. see? Well, no, that's cold, no, man. She's, she's, not, she's not my child, Sam. She's not, 100%. She's not. So, but you don't think I'm your child? You know that she was a possibility, that she might not be your child? A possibility. You already know that. My mama already told you that this might be a possibility. Okay, not a strong one. Maybe mama doesn't what? know. Maybe mama okay. doesn't know. But you shouldn't, it shouldn't be favorite Does it change the relationship between you two if you're she not blood too. sisters? Okay, I feel like we're going to be blood sisters because we have the same mom, but I think she's going to always be jealous. She's always been jealous. Well, and it may jealous, change our whatever. relationship if he's not her father. Okay. She may get Are mad. Are you certain? That he is your she baby knows that. To be, she Anyways, knows that to be honest, I feel like he, it, it, it's blood is not always thicker than water. If I'm not his, the DNA results say that I'm not his daughter, but I'm still going to always be his daughter. That is a possibility I'm saying that she I'm may not be, be my daughter. Now you're saying that though, right? Because her mother also okay. said not only she cheated on me with Ebony, she cheated on me with Camille as well. So you're saying Denise Girl, is... Girl, call my mama a hoe. Really? Jesse you can learn what it is. He didn't yes, call her no hoe. Yeah. And, Please uh, welcome Ebony okay, and Camille's okay. mom, Denise, to the show. Denise, come on yeah. out. First of all, let me tell you something. You got no, the no, wrong no, person. No, 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 no. no. You call it. You no, are always saying in front of all these people, you're telling these lies. You waited 20 years. I told you, you my daughter gang up on my mom. Hold on, hold on. You waited 20 years. 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 He's in the room, man. He's in the room, man. Okay, you ain't lying. 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 You Camille, did your mom say that is your daddy? No. She told me that's I a tell you what, that could be my father. I tell you what, when the DNA test come back, I bet you it's going to be no and a yes. Bill, that's I the opposite of what we thought. Craig, that's the opposite. You yeah, thought this is your daughter. You thought this wasn't your daughter. It, now, this your might dad. not be your daughter, and that may be your daughter. Go ahead, go Bill, ahead. Bill, I've been yeah, Camille, Ebony, and my two boys, and my grandbaby, mother and father, all of their life. Yeah, but you didn't say Ebony all of life. Because you stayed in prison. That was your, okay. that was your choice. You could have stayed out of prison and been a father instead of a jailbird. You ain't have to call oh, him really? no jailbird, Mom. Let me ask you this, Ebony. Him. Okay, Mom. Does, so, does Mom favor Camille over you? No, she doesn't. No. Okay, but no, no, just a no, spoil. No. She's a spoil. No. She's a spoil. I'm a what? I'm a what? 
Okay, yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah, hard yeah, to yeah, 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 Okay, in the fight, when we had that fight in Dollar Tree, Ebony didn't have nothing to do with me and your argument. She jumped into it, we fought. Who's Why you lie to the police officer and tell them that I started the fight when you know she didn't want to die from my face yeah, like she you always said, what? Did you always got you something been, to say? Well, you been taking her side you whole life. Said, when we was younger, when we used to get in the fight, she used to make me leave. You got a whole lot of mouth. Oh, I wonder why I get it Wait a minute. She Let's do this. She kept her we got enough talking. Business. Hold and on to your hats, everybody, because guess what's mouth. next? What DNA test mouth. results, and the truth will be known. Stay right there. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Ebony and Camille can ever be loving sisters? Honestly, if he's not my father, I feel like it's going to change my life forever because my sister is going to rub it in my face constantly. Well, you thought this was your dad, you thought this was your dad, and then there's going to be more fights. And if he is her father, she's going to feel like she's better of more of a person than I am, and she's going to rub it in my face. But I don't care if he's not my real father, he's going to always be my father in my heart. We don't have to be by bonded by blood, we can be bonded by heart. stage have waited over 20 years to find out who their dad is and right now we're going to find out and let's begin with Stacy. First I want to begin with this. Whatever the test results are, it's going to change everyone's life on the stage right now. You're 100% certain Lamont is the baby daddy, 100%. And Stacy, you need, you deserve, you must know, correct? If this is your stepdaughter, what that is that going to change something in your heart? I made the phone call. You wanted, to, you wanted to find out. You wanted to I'm find out. I'm the reason we're here. Lamont, so what about you? I didn't you? care, Does it, we wouldn't be on the if stage. If she is, if you, if you wasted 24 years. He didn't waste 24 I, I, years. I, he didn't know nothing I about it. I was, those 24 years were stolen from me. Lisa, yes. are you ready? Yes, I am. 100% certain Lamont is the baby 100% daddy. 100% certain. Bring it on. When it comes to the fraternity of Stacy, who deserves to know the truth, Lamont, you are not the baby dad. Stacy, Stacy, let me talk, honey. Zero per, not, not point one, zero percent chance. Thank you. Now, hold on, let me hear from Stacy. What's in your heart right now, honey? Because there's tears coming out of those eyes. Why is it? I knew it was a lie. <laughs> I just, I oh, just know. a lie. It could not be. Oh, the no. baby dad, this is a lie. It could it not be. It's been that long. I mean, I mean it's been that long, so it really don't. Nobody else. It don't hurt me inside. Well, let me tell you what, honey, it was not an immaculate conception. I can guarantee you that. That could not, not, that hey, not be the dad. Hey, Calm down, everybody. This is serious. Serious. Hold on, honey. Stacy, okay. tell me what. Because, I mean, this, I because you're the one that made the call based upon what your mom told you. It's like, who, like, who is my father? Lamont, how does this make you feel? You're free. I, I feel bad for, for this so young lady because she still got to search for, for whoever her daddy it's, it's is. Courtesy. And this is a, another long list of be. maybes instead your of daddies. Friend, <laughs> it got to be your friend. Lisa, I, come to it, I don't want you to mention other names, but are there other suspects? And you were 16, you are 15 at the time. You're a child it yourself. Me. It could have been somebody. That could have been. That could be another show. That man for real. Let's, let's move on. Let me do this, honey. If you can come up with another man, we're willing to help you out. To... It, isn't, it isn't so much about you, Lisa. It's about this child that's got to know who her daddy is. Do you agree she's got to know who her daddy is? It's your man. No, I did want to see him as a dad. Goodbye, good night, see you later. This is over now. You two are free. I can't believe no, let's do this. We got so much going on. Stay right there. DNA drama. You won't believe what's coming up next. Stay right there.
Today's DNA testing and results were provided by DNA Diagnostic Center. For help with your DNA situation, email us at BillCunninghamShow.com. Has a loved one done you wrong? Have they cheated on or lied to you? Is it time to confront them and say, how could you... We have Tia Brown joining us, who's a life coach, but off the air, Lisa, you and Phyllis have been at each other's throats over this matter the entire show, and you had something you said off the air, which I think was, was very good of you. What do you have to say to Phyllis? I am so sorry that I had to bring you out. You bring us to the show to find out the well, truth. Well, there was no problem with me bringing her because I wanted to know the truth because if Stacy had to end up being his daughter, that was the purpose of me calling the show in the first place. My husband don't have any kids at all. And she would have been welcome in my home, but her attitude would have had to change. Mm. That's what I had a problem with. I'm not going to be disrespectful yes, by that's nobody. true. That's true, but, but I am truly sorry. He's a good man. Because I would he never, ever came on the show and got embarrassed like this. I would never, ever in my lifetime. <laughs> well, see, now you know. Now you know. It's no, Biggie, you to do this, but... I know, so if you, you got another man willing to be tested, we'll test him. It's the other man. Well, let's do this. It's the other man. Ebony, you're on the show. Hello, Ebony. Hello, Ebony. Hello, Ebony. Hello, Ebony. Well, let's do this. It's the other man. Ebony, you're up next. Tia Brown's going to have a lot to say about this. You've spent your lifetime wondering what the truth is about who is your baby daddy and who is not your baby daddy. And Craig, this is a big moment for you too, correct? Yes, sir. Because you want to know if Ebony, because you've said on the air and off the air, this is not your child and you've treated her. L looking at this photo here, I, I, I see some semblance here. I, I see something going on. But, Craig, you've denied her all of her life, correct? Yes, sir. I blame that on, on, on her mama, though, again. As far as the paternity of Ebony, <laughs> you are the baby daddy. And Craig, here we go. The child that you claimed as your own all the days of her life. You are. When it comes to the paternity, Craig, you are not the baby daddy. This one be okay. All right. All right, let me do this. Tia Brown, life coach, welcome. Thank you for having We've me. We've had the switcheroonie here. <clears throat> the switcheroonie. Yeah. You know, what do you say to Ebony? What do you say to Camille? What do you say to Craig? Well, well first of all, I'm, I'm sorry that you had to, to get this result, Camille. I know, you know, one of the things that all of the girls on stage here want is to be chosen and loved by their natural parents, right? We all want to be affirmed by our fathers. We all want to be loved. We want to feel secure. And that's why Camille latched on so much to you when she was told that it was a possibility you were the dad. I think the biggest thing here is that parents have to take responsibility from the moment of conception. It's easy to blame the father. But the mothers take responsibility in this, too. When you know that there's a possibility, you can't play games with the kids or with the father. Because the children are the ones who suffer at the end. Well, you know, and we see these... Real father being Denise? Right. Well and they want Denise, to know. Denise, where it's is the real baby daddy? I know who he is, and I know where he is. Let's find him and bring him here. Even though I just now found out I'm saying that Ebony is my daughter, but Camille says she's still... Uh -huh. she's still, she's still but there's another friend. biological dad out there right. that's not you. And so there's a big part of her identity that's missing because you want to identify with your natural parents well, he and that he family. He's coming back. I didn't send him away. Just, but you could have been truthful about who he was. Well, you you, you have to take responsibility for that. I'm not going to keep putting words in my mouth. I told my daughter who their fathers was. So, okay, so well, you're well, not going to be on, on national TV trying to make me like so a So she bad always mom. knew that the I, other I, person I, wasn't. If, was, if Craig was her father, don't you think I'd have gave her his last name instead of another man? Do, mm. do, do everybody got my last name? Seriously? No. Why do you think he because was? Because you won't want no daddy. You're the dad one. A daddy dad. Prison all your life. 
Okay. She don't have to Why did you lie? Why did you lie? She her real father's name. Why did you lie to Camille? Why did you lie to Camille? She deserves her real father's name, mine. Really? It's easy to sometimes paint yourself as being the victim in the situation, but it's still culpability. She deserves to know the truth. When we continue the bottom line, for more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, or follow me on Instagram because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage drama. If you're a potential daddy of any age, here's the bottom line. It's bad enough when you have sex and then deny the baby is yours. But it's downright despicable to let a DNA dispute drag on until adulthood. If you did the deed, then you may be the dad. So man up and help your potential child get out the truth. And remember, if you're not ready to be a daddy, do the right thing. How about using protection? Yeah. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. I knew she was lying. You know, I knew that from the get go, and I knew the DNA would tell the truth about it all. You, you got the test, okay? You got the test. And she, she knows now. All right? And maybe we can help you find someone else if you know any names. If there's anyone. You know, you were young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why are you calling me? You're calling me, okay? <laughs>